I realize that the last thing you're probably thinking about around the holidays is gardening. But maybe you should start doing just that. Just pick mint, a broccoli leaf, which is edible, I'm gonna give it a try, a pepper. All came out of the garden today. And founder Steve Lucky says, this garden and ones like it are important for our present and our future. Let's see, look at that. They love kale, chickens love the kale. With a little help and a trowel full of passion. A lot of this just comes from the energy of my heart. Stephen Lucky has turned two vacant lots on New Braunfels Avenue into a community garden for San Antonians to plant. Open up the bottom a little bit. Eat. Mm, a little spice to it. And learn about the virtues and importance of fresh, healthy foods. So the community garden is meant for um, residents here in San Antonio to be able to come and practice agriculture in the city. This is a great area for them to get some hands-on experience. And this half acre micro farm isn't just here by accident. We know about the African American community and the Mexican American community being relegated to certain parts of town. And these towns have been disenfranchised. And part of that disenfranchisement is creating food deserts and what I like to call food swamps. It's not that there's not enough food in San Antonio, it's that all the fast food restaurants are conglomerated around these areas. So we don't have access to fresh local produce. The goal is to grow this garden, but it's also to branch out and make a positive, healthy change across the city and beyond. By addressing these food deserts and these food swamps and these economically depressed areas, uh, we can make that change, we can be the change, and we can encourage future generations to lead healthier lifestyles. Gardopia Gardens is always looking for volunteers, always looking for donors. If you'd like to help, you can find that information connected to this story on our website, spectrumlocalnews.com. Reporting from the city's east side, I'm Brian Bowes, Spectrum News.